Hey, YouTube. Um, I wanted to stop by. This is going to be the third time trying to answer this question, and it's because it's it's such a tough question that, that you know, if I don't go through it linear, linearly, it just makes no sense. But uh, the question was, is John uh, the first uh, text in the New Testament? And the answer to that, you know, the short answer to that is no. Um, but it is very early, and the reason why I have it so early is the light emphasis, the light and logos emphasis. The reason why that's so important is because the theology art existed in Philo of Alexandria in 20 to 50 CE. So Philo of Alexandria is already talking about logos and light. He's got a heavy, heavy light emphasis. And if you go through his text on the creation, he talks about all the forms. And if you go through that text or most of his other texts, um, he has a high interest in light and a much less interest in spirit, uh, a much lesser interest in spirit. Um, so that's why John is why I have John so early. Now, there's another problem to that, and that is that John has two endings. There, there may be four or five authors here. Maybe two-thirds of the text are not, is not authentic. So that's, that's another problem, and I have tried to work with that uh, text, trying to see if there's anything that needs to, be, needs to be chucked out, but at this point I have not decided that that's the case, um, even though it, it, it's obviously obvious that the whole text, you know, good parts of that text are not authentic. Um, it it doesn't it doesn't damage the case too much so um i've i've gone went ahead and left the text intact for the most part although i'm still working on that and again with the uh book of revelation um the book of revelation um the first two redactions of that were before the johanna theology the Johannine theology seems to come in after 81 and traditionally they say the revelation was written in 96 that would actually be a very very good date for the Gospel of John and the Johannine version of the book of Revelation. So there is a possibility that the tradition is actually kind of close to correct there. And I go ahead and throw that number out, 96 CE, and say, look, this is the Johannine redaction for Revelation, and this is the Johannine, this is where the Gospel of John comes in as well. Um, but uh, so I, that's about where I put it, about 96, 100, somewhere in there. It's not the first text. Revelation appears to be the first text. And again, I am working on the, uh, I actually, I have it more or less done. I just need to go ahead and upload it. But the first version of Revelation, um, I'm going to get that version out so that everybody can read just the first version. But the Johannine theology already existed in Gnostic Judaism in Philo. And Philo is talking about all these forms of light and logos. And that's what Johann the Johannine theology is talking about is logos and light and um when you get into uh the demiurge somebody had mentioned the demiurge theology and somebody else had also mentioned the gnostic, gnostic theologies which technically all of them are gnostic but uh i assume they're talking more more along the lines of the valentinians um the someone decided essentially that it was not a good idea to have yahweh as the good god the platonic good god Somebody decided that. And it appears to be Marcion or whoever was before Marcion. That's who it appears to be. Uh, and what what that did is it demoted Yahweh to uh, Demiurge, to the creator being. And so where in the Johannine theology, in the Philo theology, Yahweh is the good God and he he has you know before creation he essentially has spirit and uh logos and he creates light okay uh with the marcionites god has there's a good god and he has spirit and uh logos and he ends up creating the demiurge yahweh and the demiurge creates light so with marcionites light when they talk about light with the marcionites it's a far less version of light because it's not it's not as important to them as it was in the Johannine and Philo theology. What's more important to the Marcionite theology is spirit. And with the Valentinians, uh, the Valentinians try to they try and hang on to the Johannine theology as much as they can, but they they pull in all of the Marcionite 
uh, structure. So they they have Yahweh as the demiurge, except that they still have an, a light emphasis, and they um, don't. Where Marcion may have thought Yahweh was evil, the Valentinians appear to have him as kind of a neutralish figure, just a really bad copy of a god. So that's that's where you know they're all highly related but they also believe in very different things um so yeah i don't know if i've caused more confusion than than i needed to but i'm gonna throw all that out there um but yeah i do have the gospel of john um probably the proto version probably get about 96 100 somewhere around there i don't think john is first but i think it's probably the second theology the proto version of that text and it, again it may only be about a third authentic and the only evidence that we have that would be that it would be back there at all is Irenaeus where Irenaeus says that the Nicolaitans followed this and, the, and then he traced the Nicolaitans way back there that's the only evidence that we would have that it would be back there at all other other than the fact that the uh, uh, light and logos theology the form of light and the form of logos is already existed it existed in gnostic judaism so uh yeah we throw all that out there hopefully i didn't confuse anybody but we'll find out thanks a lot folks bye